It's now time for Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the UK, the EU, I beg your pardon. Now the perception that the physically challenged cannot achieve anything in life is what is drawing away many persons with disability from contesting for district level elections in the body districts of the Western North region. Brighton and Amphor reports persons with disability say increased advocacy to change the perception will help people with disabilities contest for positions. The Bodhi district has over 600 persons with disability. These are those on the role of the assembly. Therefore, one would have expected a large representation of PWDs at the assembly. But this is not. There is an improvement in their conditions as compared to the previous years. Um, of course, now we, we've gotten the data on majority of, I think, over 90% of the persons with disabilities we have in the district. And services are being you know, channeled to those who need what at what time, you know. And I think it's, it's going a, a long way to improve on their conditions as compared to previous years. Hanakujo has a disability. This has not stopped her from achieving her dreams. She has a first degree and wishes to go into contesting for the district level elections. But she has fears. Not actually because of my disability, but I fear. And why I fear is that um, I want to get large support from the society in which I live because of the perception. Hannah is discouraged by society's perception about persons with disability. The public remains a setback to her dream. I've lived among them since childhood and I know them. They even discourage you, the kind of ways that they will use and all that will bring you down. She told me she's ready to stand up and vie for a position, but her only hindrance is getting support. I can, but actually I'm not sure of the support. Hannah is sad society does not want to accept PWDs. The, the type of um, dress that an able person will wear and you, you being a disabled person, if you don't take care and you wear the same dress, to, to pass some sort of comments and at the end of the day, it will even discourage you to put on that same dress. So if you actually hear some of those words and all that and when it comes to such positions and you think you can actually do well, you, you actually fear to come out to fight for. For Hannah, PWDs must be encouraged to take part in district level elections. First of all, it will start from the association. They will actually give me the support. And if um, they are also to come out to tell people that that is the abilities that I have to actually um, to move the society forward. The Bodhi District Assembly says it is embarking on education to encourage PWDs. We've even established a whole commune for, for, for a group of these uh, PWDs in a community called Ahibensu. Others are having these uh, sewing machines these popcorn machines and all that. So economically, they are empowered in a way to also, you know, have their, their to daily uh, sort of. So with that, uh, they don't, the burdens and those things do not come onto the assembly. And they are also not on the street. The Federation of Disability Organizations in Bodhi is ready to push persons with disability to the top in society. Uh, Secretary Ayoba. And to know more, I'm ready. Then we are many new contacts. Say on standing for assembly. Our secretary is a female, so we are pushing her to contest at the district level elections, so she can champion our cause. The Bodhi District Assembly is throwing its support behind persons with disability in order for them to contest the district level elections. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Bodhi, Western North.
Now